Through dirty walls you hear the sound of screaming, gently feeling the finger-shaped bruise on your chest which has yellowed and faded like the curtains and the worn-out carpet which is scuffed and stained. The pain in your own scuffed knees is nothing but a background disturbance, the gentle hum which has become your own life's purpose. And through the walls you think that you hear something break and that your solitude can wait until the last china teacup, which was a present, lays in pieces on the floor. And you realise that you are waiting for the same thing that she wants next door. And neither is appearing and silently you sit hearing each other's lives break. So you sit back and take another drag on another cigarette and try to forget that you are not alone and that behind thousands of walls in thousands of towns the same sounds can be heard the same violence can be found and that your solitude is not so lonely after all and that your suffering is the suffering of a thousand other fools made wise and wide-eyed by the promises and lies they're forced to tell every day and you wish all those people the resolve to go away the resolve that you do not possess as you press your fingers to the bruise on your chest and know that tonight again you will be undressed and left shivering and naked to the core and that another part of you will be sore and that in a thousand different cities behind a thousand different doors a thousand different women lay broken and bleeding on a thousand different floors and that this is all your life story and will never just be yours.